With hyper-competitive and egotistic cultures in most organizations just makes things worse, such as limited diversity and sense of inclusion. Overwhelms and creates stress, promote macho cultures, creates heroes and zeros in organizations. It's time to let go of the old model of leadership and embrace the connection that teams all over the world are forming. More after the intro. What's going on? This is Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. This is a channel where you can learn a new skill set or brush up on an old one. Continuous education and improvement should always be priority if you want to stay current in your field of work, plus get paid your worth. Enjoy the tutorial. All the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you'd like to get certified in and I can personally send you a link to check out. So let's get started. In weak leadership cultures, leaders demonstrate some of the following behaviors. They fail to inspire the people they lead. They tolerate ineffective and mediocre leadership. They withhold information as a way to retain power over others. They demonstrate animosity for the success of other leaders, teams, and departments. Do you know anyone like this? For sure, I personally know quite a few myself, and what they don't understand and probably don't care is that there's a significant price that the organization pay when they have negative dynamics in their leadership cultures and that 66% of managers and leaders will start to check out or disengage. 40% of the team will start to see a decline in their mental health as well. So why would a leader, or better yet, a human being, would do this to someone else and to a company they work for? Here I will give you 10 characteristics of a strong community of leaders. Let me know down in the comment if this describes your company organization leadership culture. 1. Have clarity on the strategic direction of the organization. Be open and honest with your team and what plans that need to be in implemented for an organization to progress towards its vision and fulfill its goals. It ensures management and owners can communicate the importance of employees' work and their contribution to achieving business objectives. 2. Create excitement about the future. Put an end to the boring routine. Work creativity is king. Conceptual work will become the most value in the new economy. Good leaders create fireside chats with their teams to let them know what challenges lie ahead in the company or department. 3. Share a common aspiration to be great as leaders. Leadership aspiration is about personal development that enables you to bring values to other great leaders, create goals with their team in mind. You can work towards being a more efficient and effective leader versus self-centered leaders sacrifice the welfare of others for personal advantage. Four, lead with a united front and a one company mindset. This is a good one here. A united front is when your team is perceived as being aligned in purpose, principles, and values. You all speak well of each other and stick up for each other when dealing with external partners. And with the one company mindset, they lead in the best interest of the whole organization. Five, hold each other accountable by calling out unproductive leadership behaviors. Great leaders address poor performance as soon as possible. Leaders don't solve, they empathize and reset clear expectations together. The longer you hold out on a poor performance, the more it will be a routine for that person and other may think this is acceptable behavior and replicate it. Number six, celebrate success and key milestones. Treat your team, your employees, or your company's lifeblood and your success depends on them. Give your employees a meaningful gifts. Gifts are another way to thank your employees. Let them know what the key milestone was and how you got there with them. Number seven, break down silos and collaborate effectively. Another good one right here. Organizational silos refer to business division that operates independently and avoids sharing information. It also may be seen between individual employees who may hoard information for their benefit. To end this, leaders need to work towards common goals using collaboration tools, implement collaboration software, educate, work, and train together. Number eight. Keep internal politics and personal agendas to a minimum. This can really get out of hand for a lot of companies and a bad leader is nothing but fuel to that fire. You sure can get rid of it all, but a good leader will keep it at all time minimum and will also demand accountability from all team members and reprimanding political behavior. Number nine, demonstrate resilience and resolve in the face of adversity. A great leader will encourage us to turn to each other while navigating through tough challenges Good leaders will build your confidence when you take on difficult tasks and journeys. He allows you to take the one step at a time and don't forget to pause and celebrate the small achievements as you go. 
Number 10, support one another and have each other's back. There is a build high trust relationship with one another. This also ties in with number four, lead with a united front. Eliminate the finger pointing. We all make mistakes and it's only a mistake if we can't fix it. All areas don't need to be told up to upper management. A good team of, or organization should be able to fix these sometimes small errors and keep moving without the higher ups getting involved. And as a great leader, it should be instilled into your team to support one another in that sense. If done correctly, the effect of building a strong community of leaders can be extraordinary. This will promote a stronger sense of belonging, allows for greater knowledge sharing and collaboration, encourage higher levels of performance from your organization, create a culture of accountability amongst the team, and improve employees' engagement. Many thanks for taking some time to check out my tutorial. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you won't miss out on any training courses you may want to pick up. Comment below done and I'll reply back. You can check me out on Facebook under Marky Williams. And there I also have an online certification page you can like and follow as well. Please make sure you check out the thumbnail that has certification courses you may have an interest in. Hope to see you on the next tutorial. Many thanks. Marky Williams and I'm out.